Um, and then we are connecting with compassion. And again, this is about connecting with compassion for self. And when we have self-compassion, it gives us permission to treat ourselves with care in the midst of challenging thought loops, right? And so you have that difficult thought, you have that ugly thought, but you remember, treat yourself like you would treat your best friend. Would you tell your best friend that they were nothing, that they were trash, that they were a bad person? Or would you tell your best friend, it's going to be okay. You have what it takes. You are fine. You are supported. You are amazing. You are beautiful. You are kind. What would you say to your best friend? And the thing is, you have to be your very best friend first. And that's how we get through the challenging moments. That's how we get through those challenging experiences when we're feeling like, you know what? I didn't do this right. I'm not good enough. I'm not capable enough. And how we process life's challenges shifts when we remember that everyone experiences challenges in life. There was a time when I was going through like a horrible, like I had this horrible breakup and like there were all of these things happening and I felt like the world was coming to an end, right? And at that period in my life, I was working at a nonprofit that um, supported uh, families whose children had brain tumors. And it was a small nonprofit and my boss and I were very close and um, she knew that I was just like going through some things. And, and she said to me, I, I said that it felt really wrong for me to be upset because we had families who were dealing with things that were so much bigger and more important. And she said, everyone goes through stuff, right? Everyone deals with stuff and everyone's big is different. And so we can't compare what your big is to somebody else's big. And if you're dealing with stuff, we can't diminish it. Yes, someone else is going through some challenging stuff and so are you. And that's okay. And it's okay to acknowledge it. So then you can start showing up for yourself. And how can I move through this with care and ease for myself? 